Okay, so good day everyone. Welcome back to my channel. It's been a while I uploaded any videos on YouTube because honestly I've, I've just been very busy lately like, with shop and you know customers and stuff like that. Susah nak juggle with all this. Okay. Uh, yeah, so today interesting product eh? because I finally managed to get um, Crossfire punya item because ada ramai yang tanya pasal product ni. So I was like, mm, okay, why not? Why not just um, Try lah, try product mereka kan Okay So Crossfire ni, it's actually a high-end brand in China Okay But, dari segi quality It looks okay Okay It looks really good, to be honest Alright So, let's start with the unboxing lah Okay, let's look at the box first Okay Alright, you can have all these uh, stickers and certification and all that Okay, you can use your Okay, never mind. I'll talk about that later. Uh, it has 5.0 Bluetooth, okay, which is good. So you can directly stream to the Bluetooth. So you don't really need a head unit, so to, so to speak. Okay, so kita buka ni. Okay. Packaging not bad. For for the price that you're paying, I would expect a, a nicer packaging lah. But it's the product that matters lah. DLS pun sama. Product mahal tapi packing sampah. Sama. So... No complaints there lah. Alright. So, we have this uh, manual book. Which is good because it's in English. And the middle onwards, it's uh, Chinese lah. Well, of course, it's from China. Anyway. Okay. So, that's... This is also very important. Lah, sangat penting eh. And, dapat tuning cable. This is the tuning cable. Alright. Oops. This is the tuning cable. And you have this socket over here. It's a bundle of sockets. So let me just... Because this is the first time I'm opening up. Eh? I want to keep it as uh, natural as possible. So I don't want to be knowing what I'm getting, so to speak. <laughs> okay. So ooh, this is very long. Alright. So we have this harness over here. And oh, you can also put it back. And it powers the... DSP so to speak so I don't know what socket is this looks like Produa or looks like Toyota um, let me just have a quick check if it is Produa or Pro looks like looks like um, it definitely looks like uh, Toyota punya lah so Toyota and Produa lebih kurang sama but we never know okay we never know we don't know yet because I haven't tested this product out and this is for the ground okay if you want to ground it somewhere so we have two separate sockets eh? one is the audio signal another one is power and ground socket so the sockets are different you cannot use the regular plug and play socket you have to use this one okay so that's the wiring harness that you get and you also have a remote line for your for your other amps or subwoofer dan bagainya lah okay and here we have something interesting I don't know what is this yet, so we'll keep that. So I think this is the speaker output. Okay, this is the speaker output for the extra channels, and I believe this is for the front and Twitter and whatnot lah. And we also get two Velcros here, nice and easy to install, and a set of screws. We got four screws here. Okay, so then other than the unit, oh, it's oh, okay. This is heavy. Okay, I never expected it to be this heavy, but it is heavy. Alright. So, let's open up the unit. There's nothing in the plastic. Okay. Look at the back plate. Okay. Alright. So, you have your... Sorry, guys. So, you have your USB... Nak masuk USB pun boleh And if you Got phone Ni I tak tahu apa ni And you have controller Okay you got controller punya ni And then you have a bluetooth dongle Which I think you have to buy it separately I'm not sure yet We'll figure that out Okay And this is your Inputs Okay Like from your head unit If you want to bring it one input out here You can use that And all your RC output is so out okay, here Okay you have the speaker outputs okay. And you also have a speaker output dekat sini Okay, so this one, sorry, ah, yeah, speaker output. So this goes here and you have 
four channels here from the front. Okay, so this can power up Twitter, mid-range. Twitter dengan mid-range lah. Two channels for Twitter, left, right. Two channels for mid-range, left, right. Okay, and you have all the outputs here for RCA. Kalau pakai M untuk individual, then yes. And nice thing, you also got optical. Ada optical and then you have coaxial also, which is nice. Okay, if you have a digital source that you nak pakai, boleh pakai inilah. Okay. Now, get back here. USB play. I mean, if you have um, USB and cam, um, you have a controller. And it has Bluetooth, Bluetooth module. So, I don't know if you have to buy it separately because the supplier never informed me about this. PC tools and you have input. Uh, channel 1, channel 2 So let's say Kalau nak ambil RCA Daripada head unit You just need left, right Okay And everything else Can be used from here Okay So now um, So this one goes here So this is the speaker Input and output session Okay And The power And ground goes here Okay So which is great lah Alright, so now in this in this DSP, it's a 10 channel DSP. Eh? Ini adalah 10 channel DSP. But, there's only 8 channels high, out, high, high level output. Okay, the rest, 9 and 10, you have to use RCA, which is realistically makes sense, kan? Sebab, channel 9 dengan 10, kita akan pakai untuk subwoofer. So, subwoofer dia ada dedicated amplifier dia dan um, sub dia lah. So, this thing cannot power up a sub. Okay, it's simple as that. So, 8 channels of high level, 2 channels you can use for uh, left, right for your sub. Okay, so that is low level lah. Alright, so yeah, this product is amazing. It looks good, build quality is solid. This is the heat sink, so it can run cool. Okay, so harga, okay, harga dia boleh tahan because it's a 10 channel and for what it's worth, it's not bad. Okay, harga dia is RM2,180. Two, two, okay, and if you have the extra budget, go with the controller. Okay, so this is the controller. Alright, it comes like that. And you just sumbat dekat belakang lah. Okay, the controller part. And this controller is about 400 something. Okay, it's way better better build quality than other brands that I've seen lah okay not being biased or anything but it's just my observation alright yeah so that's about it this is the Crossfire M810 DSP alright so I'll I'll record another video that's the 6 channel smaller brother for this okay so see you guys next one